We are performing a 12 lead EKG procedure. This video is for educational purposes only. First, assemble and prepare equipment and supplies. Your equipment will be your EKG machine. Ensure that there is paper loaded into your EKG machine. Your EKG machine is composed of a cable that splits into 10 additional cables. The cables are separated into six short leads, also known as your chest leads. And you have four long leads, which is also known as your limb leads. Each lead is described with where the placement should be. For example, LL would be placed on the left leg. RL would be placed on the right leg. RA would be placed on the right arm. LA would be placed on the left arm. Each cable ends with alligator clips. And just for demonstration purposes only, this is your electrode. Your electrode ends in a tail. The alligator clip must fully secure onto the tail of the electrode for proper EKG. Part of your supplies will be alcohol, hand sanitizer, gloves, electrodes, and if necessary, a shaver. Ensure that you wash hands and don your gloves. Greet the patient and identify yourself. Hello, my name is Jane Johnson. You also must identify the patient. May I have your name and date of birth, please? My name is John Smith. I was born February 10th, 1991. Make sure you explain the procedure to the patient and position the patient comfortably. Once the patient is positioned comfortably, prepare the skin for electrode placement. If necessary, remove excess hair. Removing hair is not usually necessary, but excess hair will interfere with electrode adherence to the skin. Remove skin oil with the alcohol sponges and allow to dry. Rub the area of electrode placement briskly with a 4x4 four four gauge bar to abrade the area slightly. The area will appear slightly pink. This removes dead skin cells, promoting better contact. Apply limb electrodes. Position the limb electrodes, right arm electrode, right leg electrode, left leg electrode, left arm electrode. Now you will apply precordial electrodes or chest electrodes. Apply electrodes to the chest. Avoid positioning the electrodes directly on bone. In females, position the electrodes below the breast tissue. Palpate the clavicle, collarbone, and continue palpating it downwards to the fourth rib. 
move down slightly to the space between the fourth and fifth rib. Position V1 electrode in the fourth intercostal space to the right of the sternum. Position V2 electrode directly opposite V1 at the left sternal border in the fourth intercostal space. Position V4 electrode in the fifth intercostal space at the mid-covicular line on the left side. Position V3 electrode halfway between V2 and V4. Position V5 electrode in the left anterior axillary line, which is also in line to V4. Position V6 electrode in the left mid axillary line in line with V5. Begin to attach the cables to the appropriate electrode. Remember your long leads are for your limbs. Each cable is labeled appropriately. Securely attach each alligator clip to the bottom of each electric. Once you have placed your long electrodes, you can begin placing your short or chest electrodes. And ensure they are secured properly. Remember each cable is labeled to its appropriate electrode. to lie still and breathe comfortably. Now you can select print or save. Different EKG machines use different formatting. This EKG machine uses a USB to save the data that can also be entered into an electronic health record system. 
to be saved directly into the patient's rectum. Once completed, disconnect the electrodes from the patient. Begin by removing all the cables. You can mount the cables appropriately. purposes of this demonstration, we have used electrodes that can be removed and discarded. Once you have removed all the electrodes and any contaminated items, respect the patient's privacy and allow them to get dressed.